As long as there's good, there's evil. Now, as we take our first steps out among the planets and the stars, we hope that human beings will do good. We'll take our science, our technology, our literature, our culture, wherever we go. But what about evil? Will the bad travel with us as we explore the universe? Or is it a part of us that we can leave behind? In Wolf in the Fold, evil has been given a name, Red Jack, an ancient incarnation of the dark forces. And it has another name, one that will sound more familiar to you as you see our story unfold. Star Trek is a phenomenon that I personally don't really understand, but accept the fact that it's a phenomenon, and it reminds me that I don't know it all about show business. The whole Star Trek phenomenon is overwhelming. That's why when somebody says, what, what did it, I just have to say magic. Star Trek is many things to many people. I think the fact that it is so many things to so many people causes Star Trek to continue year after year after year. I personally don't quite get it, but yet, it's okay that I don't get it because, you know, it, the public gets it. There is no way to explain this. We're all in the business of entertaining. You can't say it will never happen again. It's obviously entertained people for what, how many years? 30 some odd years? I know for a fact this kind of thing will never happen again. This thing has entertained people, truly entertained people, for 30 some odd years. Great, you know? I mean, it really is great. Sets looked rather Mickey Mouse. Everything looked rather cheap. Modern museum perfection. And I remember standing there in the middle of the bridge, afraid to lean on anything, because I didn't know what would go boom or what would explode or if I was doing something wrong. We remember it fondly, I think, for its, its kitschiness, for its um, sets that wobble. We'd stand around waiting while they'd turn the dials and knobs. And Somebody said that it was at a time in the production when they were short on dough. We're not going to move from this spot. So by using stylized sets, they were saving some money. I don't know if that's true or not, but, you know, it could be. Listen closely to the voice of Hengus, supplied by actor John Fiedler. Believe it or not, for about the last 30 years, Fiedler has also been the voice of Winnie the Pooh's precious pal Piglet in many Disney animated features. Also, he was one of Felix Unger's and Oscar Madison's poker buddies in the TV comedy classic, The Odd Couple. I don't remember anyone talking except my children about Star Trek. It had integrity. At, at its best, it had integrity. We would never talk about Star Trek at home. We were giving good entertainment. It was a Western. In, in spacesuits. And we were doing it with uh, great love. And not a residual among them. I was perhaps three months away from quitting the business. I had never had a job that lasted longer than two weeks. Character never became a full person. And <laughs> now, so you really hit a sore spot. I knew it was going to be a very sexy outfit. I'm not bitter. There are moments that I wish I could reshoot. I was disappointed. In the first pilot, and in the first, uh, and maybe even in the second pilot, in the first two or three or four episodes that we produced. The acting was the real issue. To overcome my costume was my, was my challenge. So you've got to be careful about what you ask me. I'll go on forever. Writer Robert Block is perhaps best known as the author of Psycho, the 1959 novel which Alfred Hitchcock made into his 1960 all-time classic horror film. Block also wrote two other Star Trek episodes, Cat's Paw and What Are Little Girls Made Of? Wolf in the Fold started out as a block short story. In it, the Ripper was a life form that was terrorizing American cities of the 1960s and add Star Trek science fiction elements to an already terrifying tale, and you get an episode of this caliber.
What is evil? Some would say it's merely a moral concept, while others would argue that evil is a malevolent force. Surely evil has taken many forms throughout history. The list of infamous dictators, murderers, and madmen is a long and distinguished one indeed. But what if evil was an entity, a conscious predator, watching and waiting for its opportunity to rise? A creature that follows mankind wherever we go. A wolf in the fold. If Mr. Hengist's voice sounds familiar, it's because for over 25 years, actor John Fiedler has, in countless animated adventures, provided the voice of Winnie the Pooh's diminutive little friend, Piglet. John has also starred in the original Odd Couple with Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau. Now, it would seem that Mr. Scott doesn't have much luck with women, does he? In Who Mourns for Adonais, Scotty gets zapped with a lightning bolt over a woman. In this episode, he's accused of murdering two women. In The Changeling, he gets killed trying to help Lieutenant Uhura. And in the lights of Zetar, Scotty's girlfriend, Mira Romaine, becomes possessed by malevolent aliens. It would probably be best if Scotty stuck to what he knows best, his engines. Possession by evil spirits has been part of our folklore for thousands of years. But the most frightening aspect of Wolf in the Fold is the idea that evil existed on this earth as a conscious entity, and that when man went out into the stars, he took this being with him. Is evil inescapable? Are we capable of shedding that aspect of ourselves like, like a snake would shed its skin? Certainly in a world that's seen the likes of Jack the Ripper, Adolf Hitler, Charles Manson, John Wayne Gacy, and Jeffrey Dahmer, it would seem that we are destined to suffer the pains of evil again and again and again.